Hey guys, thanks for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction. I've got a good one for you today. Okay, I'm gonna tackle a question that is probably the most asked question in the traditional archery world. Okay, that is, why do my arrows group to the left? All right, well, after testing thousands and thousands of arrows, believe me, I have figured this out. I see this question pop up all the time and people ask me a lot, hey man, I got me a set of arrows, I got my bow, man, everything's shooting good, but for some reason, I'm grouping to the left, man, and what can I do? Well, if you have an ILF set up, you can simply back out the plunger, burger button, whatever, and correct that. I mean, those bows are so tunable, it doesn't matter. Done deal. But let's just say you don't have that. You have a wood bow, like a uh, long bow, a shallow cut recurve, something that is really touchy with arrow spine, that an arrow has to be spined correctly to get around that riser and fly right out of the bow that's the problem that's what's going on guys 99 percent of the time the arrows are just too stiff they're just too stiff okay so here's what i'm going to bring you to hopefully uh cure this problem i'm going to show you a little demonstration i brought just a couple of arrows out here with me to demonstrate what they do and don't do and the nature of this okay and how to correct it all right so for today's demonstration i brought a longbow I brought a little longbow out here today because they have a very shallow cut shelf on them, right? Shallow cut shelf. In other words, that arrow has to wrap around that shelf. It doesn't have a choice, right? Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys, first of all, the most commonly shot arrows for a bow of this type is a 5 16 diameter, generally a 500 spine. That's what most people are shooting at least starting off with for sure most common you'll find okay so i brought a 500 gold tip very common arrow an everyday arrow gold tip traditional 500 gold tip 500 50 grain 50 grain brass insert 150 grain field tip that's 200 grains on the front of this arrow all right let's just see I already know this because I've had these arrows actually tuned for a different bow that is cut just a little bit past this one and they fly like absolute bullets, okay? They're great. These arrows are set up for a different bow I have. But to demonstrate with this particular bow, which is like every other long bow in the world pretty much built, and a lot of custom recurves at that, I tested it out of a Black Widow also. Pretty much same thing. All right. Uh, I'm going to shoot two arrows two of these with 200 grains up front and show you that they will naturally group to the left, especially at 25, 30 yards, they're really gonna show up. But at this distance, you'll be able to see them also. So I'm gonna fire two of them here and show you what they tend to do. Here we go. Okay, you see that arrow is from the little bullseye. Gosh, it's four inches probably, four inches to the left. If you were shooting 30 yards, it'd be almost eight to ten inches probably we'll follow it up with another one here just to show you guys all right same spot exactly both of those arrows are a minimum of four to five inches to the left okay so if that's your group if that's what your arrows are doing here's the cure i'm going to show you how to fix this guys same arrow same exact arrow there it is 500 gold tip traditional except for this one has a 200 grain 200 grain screwed on the front same 50 grain brass insert with a 200 grain field tip on it i'm going to show you guys just what a difference this makes drastic drastic in other words these airs will tune to this bow with this weight on there which gives it exactly 250 from 200 to 250 this will bring it over to the right where it's supposed to be, where you're looking. Here we go. All right, about maybe an inch, okay? Maybe an inch. One more, same way. Same deal. All right, that one is at least an inch and a half closer to it. Okay, so, Here's the deal with these arrows. 250 grains on the front of them have them within this far, this close to where you're wanting them to hit, right? What do you do now? Try 300. That's right, try 300. Gonna show you guys. 
bear with me just a second. I'm going to show you what 300 does. Here we go. Love it. Voila. 100 grain brass insert in this one. Same arrow, guys. Same arrow. With a 100 grain brass insert, insert instead of the 50. 100 instead of the 50 with a 200 on the front. That is a 300 grain. 300 up front. Hmm. Let's see what it does now. Bingo. There it is, guys. Dead center. Dead center. This bow requires 300 grains on a gold tip 500 to spine correctly. Now, okay, there's another way you can do this. If you say there is no way that I'm shooting 300 grains on the front of an arrow, which is what I personally shoot, because it gets the job done. Let's just say if you're one of these guys that says, man, that's just too much weight. I don't want to shoot that heavy a weight, man. I'm not going over around 200 grains. I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like I have to have that kind of weight to kill deer with. All right, I got the answer for you. And it's right here, fellas. As I shared in another video, I found a magic arrow for this bow. And this is a Victory Carbon Trad Go uh, Carbon Trad 550. Victory Carbon Trad 550. Well, this Victory Carbon Trad 550, these arrows are smaller diameter for number one. They're smaller diameter, and total weight that I'm running on these things is 230 grains on the front. That's right, only 230 grains. They come with an 80 grain outsert. And the 150 grain field tip, these arrows tune perfect. You don't have to put any more than that on these arrows because of the diameter of them. The smaller diameter in a 550 works perfect on these bows. Check this out. Look at that. Touching. Touching the last arrow. Absolute perfect. I already know that because I've already tuned these arrows for this bow, so that's why I used them for today's examples. So either if you have standard 5 16 diameter arrows, load the front of them up. Load them up, man. Go up to 300 grains. If that's what it takes for them to hit where you're looking, then that's what you're going to have to do. If you don't want to do that, you want to shoot smaller diameter arrows, which do have massive penetration themselves. They fly flat. They're fast. They're absolutely wonderful arrows, especially for hunting. You can get by with around 230 to 250 on them. You can maybe get by with 200 grains on the front, but you want a little bit more if you can. But just to show you there, the small diameter arrows will tune out of these longbows beyond belief. They're so good. So guys, I hope this helped you today. Uh, hope uh, everything that we do here will be a blessing to you. Hope it's been a big help. Uh, I love you with all my heart, and I thank you for tuning in. And uh, we got plenty more to bring you and hopefully answer some questions that you may have. Things that were commonly asked, we try to address, and this is one of them. Curing the left grouping problem. Well, there it is, guys. Load the front of, them, of your arrow up or go to a smaller diameter, and those groups will move back to the right where they're supposed to be at. Every time guaranteed. And I'm an instinctive shooter, so if you're gapping or whatever, it makes no difference. You can do whatever you want to do, but if your arrows are grouping to the left consistently, there's a problem. It means they're too stiff. you got to do something about it. So I hope this helped you guys. Love you, and thank you again, and God bless you.